Hi, this is Manuel Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a real short one because uh, I want to address a topic that comes up very often times uh, in my forum, in the Facebook group and even here in the comments. People are complaining, hey, I don't have 5 watts output power, what should I do? Or uh, can I use uh, higher voltage, higher input voltage to increase output power or what's the maximum voltage that I can use? And even though I specified it for up to maximum 16 volts, I would not recommend to do that uh, because you're having very, very, very little room for error in that case. Let's talk about some uh, physical, some electronics facts. <clears throat> so the, the first question would be, is it necessary? Do you have any benefit from increasing your output power from, let's say, 3 watts to 5 watts? And the answer is no. Because if you want to see one S-bar improvement uh, on your QSO partner side, you need to have quadruple power. This means uh, if you have 3 watts and want to create one S-bar more on your QSO partner side, you need to have 3 times 4. 12 watts output power and that's not possible so keep it on the safe side um, be be happy with uh, 3 watts output or 4 watts output it doesn't matter don't care so much about output power it doesn't matter you don't get any benefit that you could recognize uh, between 3 4 5 6 watts doesn't matter so that's that the other thing is input voltage i would not recommend to use 16 volts input. Um, I determined that by the specs of the 7805 uh, that we are using inside, um, but I, I would really not recommend using uh, 16 volts input power uh, voltage. Sorry. Uh, as we all know, uh, power uh, is uh, voltage times current, and uh, that means if you increase the voltage and the current will stay more or less the same, you're increasing the power but you're also increasing the power loss and power loss is what's killing the PA fats here. Uh, they can handle a, a certain amount of, of power loss. They are dying through heat basically then. And if you just imagine, let's say you have four watts and 80% efficiency, this means five watts in, one watt is going to be transformed into heat in this thing. And one watt is already able to kill the rig if the heat cannot go anywhere. And now imagine you are pushing that, you are uh, trying to generate 6 watts, 7 watts because of higher input voltage and you have not 80% efficiency but 70, 60% and this is basically asking the PA fats to die. So what I'm recommending is uh, for outdoors I'm using those 11.1 volts 3S LiPos or the 4-cell LiFePo, um, which have 12.8 volts nominal uh, voltage. That would be the max I recommend using outdoors, simply because uh, you're not asking for burnt PA fats. Keep all that in mind that you have losses in the system, even though, e even if you run 80% uh, into a dummy load, uh, you still have power loss and in reality, in the real world, when you have, like in my last video, a SWR of 1.7, you increase the input voltage, uh, suddenly you have 2 or 3 watts of power loss in your PA fed and it can't handle this, it will burn and you, you have no longer a rig that works. And that's just because you were trying to push it, so don't push it. Leave the input voltage within a reasonable uh, level, below 12 volt would be recommended and best. And don't care so much about uh, only 3 or 4 watts output power. It doesn't matter in reality. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. And keep it safe, guys. Bye-bye.